Before we get into today's vlog, I just want to give a huge shout out to Way for partnering with me for today's video. You guys know I'm obsessed with Way. I've been using them religiously for the past few years. I mean, you guys can see this detox shampoo is down to the last few drops, and I've gone through like four bottles of this. I tell everyone and their mama about this shampoo. Like, this is my first step no matter what style I'm doing, and this detox shampoo would definitely be in like my top five hair products of all time. Like, I really can't live without this. The detox shampoo cleanses product buildup, hard water deposits, dirt, oil, and impurities. It's safe for all hair types and I notice a huge difference if I don't do this. You guys know I was just in Ohio and I got a blowout without using my detox shampoo and I'll insert a picture on the screen. I literally get dandruff. I don't even know if that's dandruff but I would say it's like product buildup if I don't use this product. I always double shampoo and speaking of dandruff, this is another one of my must-have products from Way. This is their anti-dandruff shampoo so I go in with this one. You leave it on for five minutes so I really make sure to work it on my scalp and then I rinse it out and then I move on to the next step and this has been one of my new favorite products from Way. This is the hair gloss and it's honestly replaced conditioner for me. If you want glass hair, this is the product you need. So I start out by squeezing out all that excess water in my hair and then I divide my hair into two inch sections and apply a little bit of this from the midsection to the end. And guys, you need such a small amount. Like I use that much for that whole section you're seeing right there, but you don't wanna use too much because you don't wanna weigh your hair down. This is super moisturizing, so a little goes a long way. That was a cute little play on words, but after I applied to the whole section I just comb that through my whole hair and then you get salon hair in literally five minutes So I'm just brushing that through my hair and I'm repeating that to the other side Not only does it make your hair so shiny But it also enhances color vibrancy and it also helps treat damage and it helps prevent heat damage up to 450 degrees So after I apply it to all of my hair I'm just brushing it back and clipping it up and then again you want to leave it in for five minutes So I go in with my body care routine and I wash my face and stuff like that once the five minutes are up I just rinse that hair gloss out of my hair and again I don't go in with conditioner that works as my conditioner but I do go in with the way leave-in conditioner this is a multitasking leave-in conditioner that detangles hydrates and fights frizz for every hair type another one of my must-haves from way is their hair oil this is a fast fix for healthy hair it's nutrient packed absorbs quickly and keeps color from fading and it also protects from heat damage as well so I do add this to dry hair too I know some oils can end up being super heavy but again with this one it absorbs so quickly so you can use it on dry hair here is the final look you guys like when I tell you hair on glass mode so you guys remember what my hair looked like before and this is how I get that super sleek and shiny blowout look you guys can give your hair a glow up with Way. Go to T H E O U A I dot com slash Nazanin for 15% off any product. Again, that's T H E O U A I dot com slash Nazanin, and I'll have that link down below. I want you guys to see how I have 2.1 miles to my destination and three miles to empty. What's up, you guys? I need to make a super quick intro because I just got to my appointment. But, guys, tell me why I just pulled up with one mile till E. Literally, I just made it. Luckily, there's a gas station right here for when I'm done. But today is Valentine's Day. We gotta do some Valentine's Day prep. I'm about to get a blowout. And we just flew in from New York last night at like midnight. So I woke up this morning. We took the kids to the park. That's why I look crazy. We took the kids to the park, brought them home for their nap. And now I'm at my hair appointment and we're gonna start getting ready for Valentine's. So let's get right into it. Guys, she did my blowout so quick and so good. Literally, I sat at the chair. Like, I started washing my hair at, like, 210, and I was done by 250. So she washed my hair, and she, like, triple shampooed because I had an updo. So she's like, girl, we got to get this gel out. She triple shampooed my hair and blew me out in 40 minutes. She is definitely my new girl. She gave me her card. Her name is Miranda. Miranda's now my new girl in Ohio like that was phenomenal like I sat in the chair and I was up like beautiful and it's like perfect My hair is also shorter now I have to remember that this was my first blow dry since my Haircut, but still guys like I just love people don't dilly dally like she did it all quick It was amazing now. We need to get gas. I literally have one mile of gas. So say a prayer
Guys, I'm driving this like Ford truck right now. This is our rental. It is huge. Okay, I'm not. Still working? Okay. Guys, I don't know how we got so lucky with this amazing weather on the. I was gonna say the East Coast, but we're in the Midwest with Ohio. But same, like New York was warm. Ohio feels like LA right now. Like we definitely brought the LA weather with us. So Mel said he got us a hotel for tonight and that we can't check in until four, but he's like, I need to go. Driver door open. Um, he's like, I need to go to the hotel myself to set up. No, honestly, I don't want to do my makeup tonight because I've been doing makeup every single night. And my skin, I honestly feel like my skin's allergic to makeup. Like my skin is not good right now because I've literally been caking on my face daily. I low-key just had a panic attack because I just parallel parked this tank and I was like holding up cars behind me. And part of me feels like I'm not parked well. I don't know. Y'all, I'm a certified passenger princess, okay? This, this, this isn't what I do. See, this is the tank I'm driving right now. You see this? I just squeezed my way right here. This door is heavy. Thank you. Get the steak bowl. I'm just gonna eat here because why not? It's gonna take it to go, but I'm hungry. So you guys saw I just get the steak bowl. I just get everything that comes on it. So this is some goat cheese. We got the steak, some little crisps. I always just put them on the side and like scoop with it. Got some guac, some beets, and then at the bottom is rice and kale. Our steak is so good and it's like grass-fed steak. Delicious. Okay guys, I just pulled up to the hotel. I Ubered here. Mel had to head home real quick so he can also drop Kayvon off because Kayvon was helping him set up in here, he said. Let's see what he's got in store for us. Okay guys, let's see. Aww. Guys, how cute. Oh my God, you know what's funny? I actually read this book already, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> we got Louis Vuitton. Aw, oh, you guys. I literally just left everything outside the room. Let me bring it in first. Goodness, it's heavy. I was a thousand percent not expecting all this. This is crazy. Oh my god. I was telling Mel I need more mom bags. And this is so cute. I love the color, it's so big. Fit like that. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect size. The chain really made it, not gonna lie. I was like, you know what, I like the silhouette, but I don't love just this strap. But the chain, it took it to a whole nother level. Like, that's that's what I was looking for. Let's get ready for Valentine's. First things first, we gotta handle this hair. Today's happy hour. I have no idea what this could possibly be right now. So 
Can you clip it? You don't think it's too much for Ohio? Have you seen Butch? Butch, look at mommy. Look at mommy. Butch is loving the snow, guys. Is it their first time releasing snow? Yeah, I think so. Look at her trying to be. Look at her little tongue. Catch it, mama. Eat it, eat it. Uh, uh. <gasps> oh my gosh, babe. It's snowing so hard. Yeah. <gasps> guys, not it snowing so bad. I'm vlogging on my phone because we need to stop at Best Buy actually to get another memory card. Oh my god, babe. I can barely see. Can you see? <laughs> barely. <laughs> they were blind. Snow? Catch on your tongue like this. Uh, snow? Uh, you playing in the snow, Kai Kai? Uh, huh? Uh, Moochie. Moochie, you just keep eating the snow, huh? No. Moochie. No. Moochie just keeps trying to eat the snow. Kai Kai. Hi Kai Kai. Hi Kai Kai. Mm. Snow. What's up you guys? It's been a few days since I've vlogged. We really haven't been doing much. I went to dinner last night with the girls. We got Rue. It's an Indian restaurant. We've been there before. We loved it. I took content this time so I can make like a little real TikTok like one of my favorite spots in Ohio. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It'll probably be out by the time you guys see this vlog. I'm sure I'll have it uploaded by the time you guys see this vlog. But anyways, speaking about Columbus, Today is going to be a really fun day and this is just going to be a really cool vlog overall because I'm going to be house hunting in Ohio. So for those of you guys who are new, Mel and I are both originally from Columbus, Ohio. So this is like our stomping grounds. This is where we grew up. And we always have this thought in the back of our mind, like a really, really small thought about possibly moving back. And, you know, we always joke about it. We always talk about it with our friends, with our parents. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't we just go see what's out there? Mel, unfortunately, can't come house hunting with me. But you guys know Paula works in real estate and construction. So she's going to come. She has some houses lined up for me. So we're going to go look at some open houses today. It's Sunday, so we can just like pop into some houses. And I want to see what Ohio has in store. Columbus is on the come up. There's so many people moving here. So many careers are being built in Ohio. Well, Columbus specifically. Um, a lot of brands are based here. Like a lot of, I don't know what to call it, like manufacturers. Like Express is based out of here, Victoria's Secret. But regardless, Columbus is really becoming a hot spot. And I've mentioned in vlogs before, like Columbus is just a lot cuter than it used to be. We have a lot of like cool restaurants out now, rooftop bars. It's really becoming more of like a city than a small town that I grew up in. So I want to see what the houses are looking like. Let me tell you, the prices for the houses, they've definitely gone up. A lot of people are moving here. There's a lot of new construction. Um, the houses look a lot more modern. So you guys are going to take a little peek with me too today. The first city we're starting out in, this house I'm at right now, which I'm kind of confused about because it says open house online, but I pulled up and there's like no sign, no nothing that it's an open house. So I'm kind of nervous. I'm waiting for Paula so she can handle it because I'm like, it's not giving open house. But we are in Dublin right now. I love Dublin. It's a great area. I really like Dublin. If I was to move back to Columbus, I feel like I would either live in like Dublin or New Albany. Those are like my two places I'd probably move. Here's the house, you guys. It's super cute, like modern farmhouse. Okay, guys, we're walking in. All right, you guys, let's get into this house tour. So this is what you see when you first walk in. You have an office to your right, which is really nice and spacious. 
but I wasn't a huge fan of the entrance. The staircase was right in front of you too. And it wasn't like a huge, like elegant staircase. Like it was just like stairs. And then that was the powder room. That half bath is super cute. I do like the tile that they used. And then this is the main living area. So you guys see it's very open. You have the living room opening up to the kitchen. I loved this kitchen. It's very big, lots of cabinet space. I like all the fixtures they use. And they also built this little bar area. I do wanna say that they said that this house is completely remodeled. This house was built in the 70s and just this past year, they just gutted everything and redid it. I loved these skylights in the living room. So, so gorgeous. And then here's the back patio that also had like an automatic screen which i definitely want to implement in our house here and then they also had like built-in heaters and stuff which was really nice but the backyard wasn't super big and then obviously with ohio you don't see too many pools that's something you'd have to add really on your own the pantry was so nice and i've never seen a fridge in a pantry for the most part, I see extra fridges put in the garage or even the basement, but I definitely want to implement this in our home right now or a future home. I definitely want to redo our pantry because we're not utilizing the space well at all. But you guys can see they even put another microwave in there. Super cute. Right off of that, we have the mud room and they have that little dog washing station, which is cute. They have these gorgeous built-in cabinets. They also had some desks as well as the washer dryer in here. So overall, they did a really great job with this space. So now here is the basement and as you guys can see, like it's not very big and I was confused because I'm like, you know, the basement should be the size of the whole house. So there's also like this little mini gym to the side, which is a very cute touch. And they also had a full bath down there, which is really nice. This is what I love about Ohio. You get a basement. We don't have basements in California for the most part because of the earthquakes. So it's just so nice to have like this extra space. Literally any teenager in Ohio will tell you like this is where we hung out. We were always in the basement. It's actually common to rent out your basement in Ohio too. Like people will make like a one bedroom apartment in their basement and rent it out. But you guys can see there was like a few steps up from that area I showed you. And then there was like that supply closet and then it takes you into the rest of the basement. So this family used it as storage, obviously. And the organization skills, like impeccable. I'm trying to get on this level. But this right here is the primary suite. I actually really love this room. I like that ceiling. And then I loved how airy and bright the room felt. It also had a fireplace and I love this stone wall that they added. And then the bathroom, very gorgeous. I love this little fireplace situation that they got going on. I love the tub. Here's the kicker. This house is $1.8 million. Yes, you guys heard that right. $1.8 million, which is insane for Ohio. I understand the prices have gone up, so I get it. But 1.8 for this, that's how small all of the bedrooms are. There's three bedrooms, like three kids rooms, and they're all that small. So I want you guys to see that again. And then you guys saw that bathroom wasn't really giving, you know? Again, you are in a nice area, but I want to show you guys the bathroom again. But overall, this wasn't one of my faves. Next up, we have a house in Delaware, which is pretty close to where my family is originally from. This is the same school district that I went to, not the same high school. But if you guys are familiar with the area, this is Olentangy Liberty High School. I wanted to show you guys the neighborhood because I just loved how it looked. They had a few ponds in the neighborhood, and I loved how all the houses were kind of spaced far apart which is actually pretty common in Ohio. Immediately, I like the entrance of this house. See how it's like kind of airy and open? Again, I didn't like how that first house, I immediately just saw stairs and like a wall. This just felt more open and elegant and grand. And again, the floor to ceiling windows, it just brought in so much natural light. It was so pretty. I'm so sorry for the shaky footage. It's very hard to get like still footage with this camera. I love the fireplace and the built-in cabinets as well as those dark wood beams to kind of tie everything together. The kitchen, I like the whole layout and floor plan, but the kitchen, I just feel like the whole open shelving concept, like where is the cabinet space? Okay, I'm saying that now, but then this is your um, pantry. So I guess you make up for it with the pantry. But I'm just not a big fan of the open shelving. I get it. You'd like it's to show off your cute plates and stuff. But I would rather just have more storage, maybe just because I have so much crap. But this is also a great pantry. I do like the whole concept of having drawers and cabinets in the pantry. So I brought you guys back to the front of the house. So again, when you first entered, when you turned to the right, you had this like mud room situation. You had a like half bathroom. You also get the laundry room right here. I really like the tiles that they use. I love for my laundry room to have a window. Super random. 
random. It's not like you're spending time in the laundry room. But I remember growing up, our laundry room was in the basement and it kind of scared me because it was like in this dark basement with no windows. So I think that's why I appreciate having a window in the laundry room. And then back at the front entrance to your left, you had a home office. The realtor was in there, so I didn't film that. But I also love the crown molding in this house. It's such a nice touch. They also had it like incorporated in the staircase. So this right here is your primary suite. Again, I just love all the windows in this home and it was like the perfect day. It just snowed, so it was like super bright white light all throughout the house. Again, we have that crown molding in here. The room was okay, but let me tell you, this bathroom, I hated it. I hate everything about it. Again, my thing with windows, there's no windows in the bathroom and I'm someone, I honestly hate using lights. Most of the time, I'm just opening up the window or I'm just using, I love like lamps, like ambient lighting. But yeah, this bathroom, aside from the fact that it looked like a dark dungeon to me, I don't like the fixtures that were used. I do like that this closet kind of is like split in half. But even then, like, look, like, don't you guys feel like those drawers right in front of us? It is such a waste of space. Like they could have definitely done more with that. Um, the tile and the shower wise, there are three different types of tile. I get they're trying to be different, but I hated it. Oh, my God. The floor tile. Don't even get me started. Like, I feel like that whole gray is just so just it's not trendy anymore it's very dated but regardless i just i hated everything about this bathroom moving on to the bedroom see you guys can see like this is the size of a bedroom i expect in a house that's over a million dollars now this house is actually more affordable than the first one so you guys can just see like look how much bigger the closets are and like this closet is huge. So this is a Jack and Jill bathroom right Every here. house I toured today had that Jack and Jill bathroom. And I actually really did like this bathroom. I thought it was like pretty great for kids. That was like my dream as a small child to have my own bathroom. If we were to move into a house that had Jack and Jill bathroom, I'd obviously have the boys share this bathroom and Aria would have her own bathroom. Um, but yeah, this is what the bathroom looks like. And then we head into the other bedroom and then here is the other room. This is the bathroom that comes with the other room. So again, this is the only room that has its own bathroom and I love the lighting in that bathroom. See, I had a window. So now we're and the room was pretty much the same size as the other ones, which I do like as a parent, you want rooms to be the same size. So you're not like putting one kid in a super tiny room, one kid in a big room, you know, so I do appreciate that. So now we're heading down to the basement again. Ugh, I wish California had basements. So this room could be used for so many different things. You can make it a playroom. You can make it literally whatever you want. This is another bedroom in the basement. So this one, it didn't have an attached bathroom, but it did have a bathroom separate. And then that was the closet down there. So now we're going to move on to the third house. This house I also wasn't a huge fan of. Okay, we got to fast forward through this footage. Um, but yeah, now we're on to the third house. And this is in Plain City, which honestly I've never really heard of, even though I've lived in Ohio for a majority of my life. It's in that Dublin Powell area, like you just keep on going down. And it is part of the Dublin School District, which is a very great school district. But anyways, to your right, when you first walk in, there's a home office. And now with this house, you guys, I feel like I don't like it because of the decor use. Like the decoration is horrible like are we still like it's giving like 2016 but anyways i think it has potential like i do like that fireplace the staircase is really cute i like all the windows i also like the flooring that was used with this kitchen as well i just feel like you don't have that much cabinet space i do believe that island has the built-in cabinets but what they do have in that kitchen is a nice fridge. Like this fridge is huge. I immediately fell in love with it. Paula and I were laughing here because we were joking about drinking that glass of wine. But this is just a little section that connects the dining room with the kitchen. You also have your pantry right there. This is like your standard pantry, just the shelves. No fridge and microwave and drawers and stuff like that in this one. Um, but overall, I did like the space. Again, I think the house has a lot of potential, but it's just the bad decor that really just brings it down. Like, I just felt like I just went back in time to like 2014 with this decor. Now we're going to head into the primary suite. So over here, when you first walk in, this is the main part of the bedroom. Again, I love all the windows and I like the ceiling. There's also like a few steps in the room that takes you to like this little nook. It could be like a little reading nook or whatever you want it to be, but I thought that was a really cute touch. And then right off of that is the bathroom. Ugh, the beautiful windows. This is what I wanted in that other house. I don't like that I can't keep the windows open because probably all those neighbors could see me while I'm taking a shower, 
but I do like the bathroom overall. The closet was actually a lot bigger than I thought because as you guys can see, it wraps around. I didn't see that at first, but the closet had a lot of potential too. See, it keeps on going to the back. As I've mentioned, Paula works in construction and property management, so she has to point out every single flaw. This, it just needs to be like, there's a lot that need to be blue tape all over the place. Here is the laundry room, super spacious. The bedrooms were really big. Again, this house had the one bedroom that has its own bathroom and then the other two bedrooms share a Jack and Jill style bathroom. So here's the bedrooms that share the Jack and Jill style bathroom. So overall, I feel like they all look the same. Like all the houses, they just look very similar in this portion of it, but also the closets were a decent size. So overall, I have no complaints with the bedrooms for these. I do like the size of them. I do like the closet space. So from upstairs, this is what you see when you look down. So I like how it's really open. And I forgot to mention this house is a split level home. So not only do you have like the main floor, the upstairs and the basement, but the primary suite is on its like own floor technically. And then when you walk a few steps down from the main part of the house, you have this basically bonus room. This would be an amazing playroom for the kids. I love how it's kind of like you're in the basement, but you still have all those windows. And then this is the actual basement that they do plan on finishing, which is nice. They're going to be building a whole other like full bathroom down here, a full bedroom. This is Paula showing me where like all the pipes go. Um, but yeah, this is like a ton of extra space to use. Now this one, you guys, we saved the best for last. Look at this one. Like, wow gorgeous this house is a model home so it's gonna have all of the upgrades all of the razzle dazzle so it's also in plain city as well there's a lot of new construction in plain city but it's like who wants to live in a place called plain city so after we first walked in to our left this is the in-law suite it has a built-in murphy bed and i love the fixtures used in the bathroom but yeah, overall, it's a pretty large room and it also had a built-in office that was across. So all the houses had that same format, like the room that's downstairs and then the office. But again, the realtor was in there, so I didn't want to go in there. But then this is the main part of the home. So we have a really nice living area and then the kitchen is so, so nice, you guys. I like how the dining room is kind of off of the kitchen. I love like everything that. about this kitchen. I love the hood or the range or whatever. I also like the tile used and then you guys can see the fridge is kind of camouflaged in there and then it has this indoor outdoor living situation so these back doors can completely slide open. I like how it's screened in you guys. I really need to do this with our house because we have those style of back doors and we never open the doors because like bugs can get in the house and stuff so I definitely need to do that but guys look at this pantry. Like it literally had an extra dishwasher in this pantry. So these are the back doors completely open. And guys, look at this built-in bar. Such a cute touch. So it'll open up to the dining room. So you hear Paul was joking with me like, what do you want to drink, girl? But I'm like, this is such a cute touch. I got so many cool ideas just looking through these houses. And then over here is just like the mud room and laundry room and stuff like that. I don't remember it exactly, but I had like three rooms that were this size. One room was like a dog bedroom, which was super cute. Um, but as you guys can see, there is a washer dryer down here. What do we think about this brick flooring? This wasn't throughout the whole house, just kind of like this mudroom area. I can't tell if I hate it or if I love it. So this is the basement, you guys. The basement was definitely a show stopper. It literally looks like a restaurant. There's a whole wine cellar. Like there's literally three bars down here. It's crazy. And Paula and I were dying, you guys, because look at this. This is the kids' playroom. <laughs> it's literally like... Like a little the little area underneath the staircase like it's giving Harry Potter um, but no this is a beautiful basement definitely unrealistic but they definitely put some like really cool touches I love the dark vibe that this little middle bar was going for and then back here oh my gosh that little Ohio sign is the most Ohio thing I've ever seen but I guess this was more of like a sitting lounge just to, you know sip your whiskey and smoke your cigar or something and I like that TV I like how it's like those four frames then I headed upstairs to the bedrooms and guys I love these rooms Paula was like I'm not feeling this color combo but I kind of like the navy blue and the pink i don't know but this is also you guys already know jack and jill bathroom she was like i don't like the framing of the door see how it's like hot pink 
But I thought it was really creative and cute. I like how it has that little bench and you have that pond across the street. Paula also hated this wallpaper. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. It's like different. I could see how that pink framing isn't the cutest, but I think it's a really cute room for a little girl. So here's that Jack and Jill bathroom. Super cute. Love all the fixtures used in this bathroom. Here's the other bedroom connected to it. And this is like a boy's room. Like look at the signs on this wall. I was dying. It's like mini man cave, boys only. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the closet as you guys can see that what, like every brother is a superhero anyways that closet so see how the door is kind of like that ladder that's like a sliding door for the closet and then I'm heading into this loft area and I just realized I didn't give you guys a good clip on the closet so you guys can see it better here but yeah I thought it was a really cool touch once you walk into this loft area, guys, this was so crazy. Like, first of all, this is a great space, super cozy. I can already see the kids being like teenagers and hanging out up here. And this can be like a little video game room, whatever. But as you guys can see that sign on that wall, it says push me. And guys, literally, I was not expecting this at all. So it's a whole nother bedroom. So it's like a whole bedroom, a huge bedroom, by the way with its own bathroom now see i kind of hate this because again being the youngest child i always got the smallest bedroom so i would have been so salty if my brother or sister got this big room and then i was stuck in the tiny room and also both of my siblings lived at home during college so it wasn't like oh they're gonna go to college and you can move into the big room like no i was stuck in the little room Anyways, onto the primary suite. So I like how it's kind of divided by those stairs. So you go up a few steps and then you're in the primary suite room and the room was a good size and then the bathroom was super cute. I feel like they did a lot to make this look super chic, but overall, I felt like the space was a little small. I think it looks a little bigger on camera, but guys, I think it's this tile. <gasps> I hate this tile. I hate it. I hate everything about it. And also the black tub. I don't know. Again, this bathroom has potential. I kind of like the idea of the um, double shower head, but something about that towel, y'all. I just feel like it made the room very small. And then for a primary bathroom, there just wasn't a lot of counter space either. And then I had two closets. The closets were a good size. And I love how this closet leads into another laundry room, you guys. So you guys saw there was a laundry room downstairs and then there's one upstairs with double. And then you have a four car garage. So this garage can be just converted into a home gym if you want to do it in there instead of the basement. But again, this house just had a ton of space and a lot of potential. Okay. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I like this Ooh. one. Oh my. <gasps> okay. I move into this one, you move into that one, and we just raise our children to- <gasps> Wait, Paul, that's still the same house! Yes! <gasps> that is literally the same oh. house! Look at the- bag. That's all the same house! That looks like a country club. Paul and I just drove around and looked at houses, and we actually drove to New Albany. Like I mentioned at the beginning, that's another area I would definitely live in in Columbus, and these are the houses that are there. So after a long day of house hunting, oh, it looks so cute. We are at Cafe Istanbul. Another great spot here in Columbus. We got the appetizer platter. Yeah, it's like Middle Eastern food. Wow, like guys. with all that sauce? Yum. Paulina's plate. Guys, we killed that appetizer platter, as you can see. And we got a side of vegetables. Because <laughs> we're in our skinny era. Um, <laughs> after you know, after eating bread. three bread baskets, we're like, let's get some veggies instead. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're so excited to eat. I got no veggies and double <laughs> rice. Just so Naz could have some. That's exactly some why, huh? <laughs> we all know you don't want those vegetables. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'll do race car one. The race car? Okay. Daddy? Or the mold? I don't know, where is the moat? It's right now. <laughs> Daddy, well, where's the moat? Huh? Where's the moat, Daddy? Where is it? Is it mommy now? No. Hello. Okay, mommy, where are you putting it? Found it, here's the moat. Shake that. Every day I'm shuffling. Uh oh, 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 oh. oh. Ow. 
what's up you guys i just finished up at the spa so i went to hydrate me you guys know hydrate me is my 7q in ohio it's my go-to medical spa out here every time i go i do the same thing i get an iv and then i also do a facial i dermaplane which is where they like shave your face and then i do the skin medica diamond glow facial so we did the usual today you guys can see i have my hold on can I show you? Okay, I love the fact that they use this and not a band-aid because y'all, these band-aids hurt to take off. But yeah, I got my IV. I did the anti-aging one today. And then today too, they um, put the IV in me while I did the facial. Usually I do, I like sit and do the IV and then we do the facial. But guys, like, you know, I love killing two birds with one stone. So it was like so cool. I'm like, I'm hydrating my skin from the inside and out, you know? So now I'm on my way to Paula's house. We're gonna go on a walk. She's doing 75 hard right now. So she likes to go on walks for her like outdoor workout. Guys, Paula is intense, okay? Like, you know how the other day we had a huge snowstorm? I told her, I was like, you probably didn't do your outdoor workout, huh, with that snowstorm. She pulls up a video, her literally bundled up head to toe, like walking outside in the blizzard. I'm like, girl, you are hardcore. But yeah, I'm just driving over to her house. I don't think she's off work yet, so I wanted to stop and grab like a water from this gas station. I should put some gas in my car. I have 60 miles until I'm deep, but I don't want to. But yeah, let's go grab this water real quick. It is such a beautiful day, you guys. Like, I'm telling you, we really haven't had bad weather while we've been out here in Ohio. Like, look at me. I'm in, like, a little jacket in February. This is not normal at all. kind of want to try one of these protein... Oh, of course the flavor I wanted is out. Water. So if you guys live on the East Coast, you guys know, like, Wawa, like, the gas station. So... Ohio basically opened up its own version. I don't know if this is like a completely new chain, but I noticed it last time we came to Ohio, but it's called Sheets, and it's like this gas station, like restaurant type of thing. So you can like order food too. So it's like our version of Wawa. What's up you guys? I just got back from the mall. Paula and I did our little walk. We've been having so much fun on our little walk, babe. Cause when you're like with the friend and you're talking the whole time, it goes by so fast. We grabbed a little bit of dinner and now, huh? Eat. we got brassica what's up you guys we just checked into our hotel we're at the same hotel we stayed at for valentine's day i did want to stay at a different hotel but they were fully booked tonight um not that i don't like this one this one's actually pretty nice but it's a hilton it's like a chain hotel i kind of want to stay in like a you know like boutique hotel but they didn't have availability and guys literally columbus has like two like boutique hotels like that's your two options so but you know what like this room is way bigger it's a suite it's honestly this hotel is really nice and the place that we're meeting for dinner is in the lobby of the hotel so it honestly worked out perfect but i'm about to start getting ready i literally have like an hour to get ready so that's another reason why i'm like thank goodness the restaurant is downstairs i'm not gonna lie the other room we stayed in was much nicer not in terms of like the size this room is really spacious as well but guys the bathroom like they could not have used a smaller mirror like for a mirror to like get ready for a bathroom to get ready in it's just let me show you guys the room itself is nice and we get an extra bathroom hold on where's the light so we get a spare um half bath and then the room we have a living room area little mini bar area this is the bedroom and then the bathroom you guys look the mirror is so tiny so the other room we were in the whole wall was a mirror so it was really easy to get ready in but yeah, I'm trying my best. Luckily I have my light because also this light was so dim. So I'm really happy I brought my own light, but we're gonna make it work. And again, I don't have a lot of time, so I just need to start getting ready. I try to rise and let you know what is a crime, a passion, but damn, you is out of reach. 
Let's get dressed for the Drake concert. Y'all know Drake and I got beef because literally he has canceled this tour like two times. This tour date was originally supposed to be in July, got canceled, rescheduled it in October, and now we're finally going to it tonight in February. Also, we're going to the show in Columbus, Ohio, so we literally had to travel, and we would be in Columbus when the tour would get canceled. So Drake better knock my socks off, okay? Is that Paulina? <gasps> Oh, your hair looks so good. Thank you. I put on an extensions. Wow. Good Paulina is here. Hi, guys. I came in leggings and my Rick and Morty shirt because I need Nazanin's opinion on what I'm going to wear. Your makeup looks bomb. Hair bomb. Let me guess. You got ready in like 15 minutes. I low-key did get ready pretty quick. That's one of Paula's specialties, you guys. Like, if you need her full glam in 20 minutes, she will be full glam. I don't know how she does it. She'll do like a blowout. And like a smoky eye in 15 minutes. <laughs> the talent. I don't know how she does it. Oh, got this it. little black shirt and it's a tie shirt. Oh, that's cute. Makes my boobs look nice. We've got these pants, which is like a leather pants situation. I love leather pants. This little oh. skirt, little mini skirt. Oh, it's like it has shorts too. That's nice. Yes. Oh, I like these. I like that it's an actual skirt in the yeah. back too, but it has shorts. Yeah, I hate when it's the skirt in the front and then it's like the short in the back. Like, I oh. hate. It makes my look my butt look so flat. You're right. It does make butts look flat. A suit, like a basic. With your jacket on it. With my jacket. Now the I kind of like that. I kind of like the jacket with the mini skirt vibe. Shoes, the white cowboys. Cute. Or just like basic black. I'm wearing black high highs too, so we can twin. This one's like just like to the knee. Your jacket has white though, doesn't it? It does. I kind of like you tying the white of the jacket with the boots. I have some white in here, like I can't see. Literally, I can't actually even see what you were grabbing. Ooh, I mean, Nas. That really, you like it? So good on. I love. Thank I love snake the skin. snake skin. Thank you. So this is the skirt. Does this one have shorts? No. I'm just free balling it tonight. <laughs> Diesel sunglasses and then. Thigh high boots. I love how I did all this work on my eye makeup just to wear sunglasses. Like, Legit though, look. It's just for pictures. I'm not gonna wear them in concert. These aren't even my like style, but they look cute. I love it. Are we gonna do our transition TikTok? Yes. Okay, let's film it. Paul and I are trying to do a transition TikTok, but we don't even know the moves. Okay. You wanna punch me? Okay. Sure. Hold up. <laughs> Okay. We need more space though. This is not enough space. Okay, and we need the camera back. We need the camera back too. Mm -hmm. Not the room There you go. Okay, guys, we're ready. 10 years later, Paul and I finally did that transition TikTok. Well, we did our best. We might post it, we might not. We still don't know. But this is what we're wearing to the concert. I'm wearing this two piece set from Naked Wardrobe, and my boots are from Macy's actually. And my girls look so good. My sash sisters want to show me your way. I am wearing a black outfit from Express. Boots are from DSW. I don't know which brand. Jacket is H&M. And that is what I'm wearing. Oh, and the sunnies are from Amazon. My suit is from Outkast. So and cute. my shoes are Steve Madden. I love Woo! it. I'm about to check out this brand. because it's cute. No, dude, that bodysuit is like... Yeah. I really like the, yeah. that brand. Finally going to the concert 30 years later been waiting since july third time's a charm okay. guys look who's here paulina hi guys we're filming a transition tiktok like with our outfits so i was like wait let's rehearse real quick and mel was like what in the world <laughs> <He's> like, <"Look, laughs> i was like no punch me <laughs> make up your own dances. okay wait mm -hmm. boom boom we go that way first yeah we go back and then so, okay, boom, so boom, cross, boom, yeah. boom, 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 and then this way, boom, 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 boom. boom. hands on your knees. And then Did they touch their knees and then go down? Start over there. Oh. Okay, boom. Now we gotta do it. I see a reference TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then, then I cross. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of turns back. Okay, okay, I'm, my feet are like this. Yeah, so you do like a little cross. I, this, I go, I go. Yeah, just like okay. that. And okay. then the ass shake, and then cross again. Front. Front. See, you're going that way, you're going this way then. 
Yes. Ah, 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 ah. Like dancing Brazilian funk for a solid like 30 minutes. I'm like. Wait, I didn't. Did Oh wait, babe. Let's do it one more time. I think I. We can do better. We gotta go harder with that ass shake. Yeah. We can do better. I agree full heart. I'm sorry. Bend that ass over. You go. Okay. You go, boom. Hello. Okay. Well. Hi, ladies. Hi, Isha. Oh, you look gorgeous. I love it. The lady did my makeup. She did an amazing job. She did a great you job. Like it? Oh, so we're doing a transition. Okay. Isha's gonna make us laugh, dude. Isha. Okay, another one. One more time. <laughs> Hold it. Look who's here. Hi, Kai Kai. Hi, Mooch Mooch. Hi, Mooch Mooch. Daddy went and picked him up this morning. He's gonna spend the day with us. My baby. Those little belly flats. Hi, Mooch. They're little balloons, guys. Hi, Daddy. So yeah, we're at town. Oh my goodness, Mooch. Mooch is going crazy. Can you see the name of the place here? I know. Babies are not having it. Thank you. So this is the look Mal is talking about that he likes on me. Literally, I just have on moisturizer and brow gel. I agree. I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I, I like not wearing makeup. Honestly, if I had to pick between wearing makeup and not wearing makeup, even though I love makeup and it's like my job, I prefer not wearing it. I just feel more comfortable, you know? You look hotter. Babe, come on. This isn't giving like siren. Well, you look sexy. It's giving like, approachable. On, but you look hot. Like, I'd be like, hot? Who's that hottie over there? Who's that hottie with the three kids? Thanks, babe. Y'all, look at these babies. Hey, he looks like such a little boy in his hoodie and sneakers. Hi, Kai Kai. Hello, guys. I can't believe we are almost at the end of our little adventure. Definitely not an adventure. <laughs> Today is our official last day in Ohio. We've officially been out of LA for a month. So we came to Ohio on January 26th. It is February 22nd. So at this point, I miss our house so much. I mean, I got to go to our house for like one night. But Mel, you haven't seen yeah. our house in a long time. I know. And we've experienced so much since we've been here, like especially weather-wise. Literally. Guys, look at the weather right now. All rainy and gloomy. But we honestly came at a perfect time because although like we experienced a snowstorm and today it's been like raining all day, we really haven't needed our winter coats the whole time we've been here. Yeah, the, has everybody has told us the weather has been really nice since we've been here. I told them we brought the LA weather with us. Yeah. But guys, that snowstorm very much reminded me of why I'm very happy to live in California. Mm -hmm. Like when I watched the car in front of us on the road do a full donut, yeah. that literally scared me so badly. I was over at my parents' house with Kayvon and Mel was at his parents' house with the twins. So we were just both kind of doing our own thing. But tonight as a little farewell dinner, you guys know my girl Paula throws it down in the kitchen. Her OG name is Paula in La Cocina. So, you know, she's an amazing chef. I always tell Paula, like, I miss your cooking. I miss your cooking. She's like, you know what, Naz? I'm going to cook you a Colombian feast tonight. Mm. She's going to cook for everybody. And also Isha's coming over. And, like, Paula and Isha wanted to say bye to the twins and the kids. So it just works out perfect. So right now, Mel and I are at the grocery store. We're at Fresh Time. Is that only an Ohio thing? I don't know. But it's kind of like a little Whole Foods. Um, we're going to do some grocery shopping and then Paula's going to come over and we're going to go ahead and cook. Sky looks so pretty. Mm, all the yummy drinks. Guys, look at this almond butter and peanut butter machine. See? Just put your cup at the bottom. Y'all, I got Paula back in la cocina. <laughs> Please tell them how I'm such an amazing I'm chef. No, I literally just did all of this. I just came in to stir. Why? Look at my shiny forehead right now. No, look at it's it's all of us. 
Is that what you look like, Paula? You look good. <laughs> but yeah, Paula was focusing on the arepas and the pastelitas. Yeah. So she was focusing on that while I handled like the stews. So we're literally making chicken, beef, and shrimp and coconut rice. Let me show you guys the arepas. And arepas and pastelitos. Yeah. This is the beef one, the chicken one. Wait, where did I do that? And then we're gonna make shrimp. Got the arepas. We grab one. So this is apparently the truth right here. Crisón. What's in it? Un poquito de color. Uh, yellow five. <laughs> yeah. Avocado. I got from Target. I need. Yeah. Rice, oh, this is the beef, the chicken, and then we have shrimp.